Hey folks, let's get back to playing some Squally. When we last left part seven, I was uh, in a Hexus battle with a very difficult sort of person. And we broke because I was going to uh, look into cheating at Hexus to win. And uh, never going to believe it, but in the process of that, I wasn't even paying attention. I was just sitting there, cheat engine going back and forth between cheat engine and Squally. Uh, oh, and I did actually pull up Squally in Ghidra, by the way. It is an unstripped binary. The PDB file is in the game directory, uh, the Steam game directory. Um, so I pulled it up in Squally, uh, sorry, in Ghidra. And uh, I was looking through, you know, some of the code there. Uh, so I was kind of going back and forth between, you know, Squally, Ghidra, Cheat Engine. Um, and uh, wasn't even paying attention, but in the process of just testing that, uh, going back and forth, I won the match so apparently i was capable of it the entire time it's just i'm an idiot so but at least it's been resolved right so let's get back to this quest enter the fountain room east of town we are looking for that medusa oh that's right they all share uh thing. Let's link. Uh, shift left. Yes. And of course. Okay, this is going to be a problem. Apparently, action economy is terrifically important. And I should probably uh, get that infinite health going. So I'm just get cheat engine going here. It's <laughs> four byte value, yeah. Okay. Health, let's do that. All right. Um, and now I'm actually going to go back because I was getting ready to do a scan for Red Squad. I've lost health again. Uh, but now I can do instead an increased value scan. That's still 9,000. Wait, did I not do a compare to last game? Did I not check that? Thought I did. Yeah, so it's actually pretty promising. Control. I should just use the hotkeys. Let's do this exact value. There's none of these people. Let's let's do it again. Maybe it wasn't a four byte value. Can't remember. Oh, the last time I did it, I had it as a four byte value anyway. All right, let's uh keep going. Ooh, the 
a zebra. How do I get over there? Looks like I could swim up. Uh, looks like I gotta get to it from the other side and swim up, possibly. Or is this like, my cue to do some? Oh, okay. Well, uh, let's try it here first, I guess. Alright, I got to do the swim thing. I'm, I'm waiting for when we have to do a hack to go through walls. I assume it's coming up. And one of you. So, oh, we got our first flip four. Fourth bit of all cards in a row. Which, if we were, oh, but we've got the sheep. So, it's not going to be good. Uh, if we do this one, uh, we'll lose quite a bit. We also have a shift right and a shift left. So, if we shift. It seems like we probably want to flip for these. Shift right. Oh wait, these are my cards. What am I doing? I I don't want to do that to my own cards. No, that would be that would be a mistake. Let's see. Uh, so we want to. So if we want to shift to the left, I mean, that's what I'm going to do. I'm trying to do the math here between 56 and 63. No, that's not what we want to do. Um, except now, no, flip four will be bad there. Um, okay, shift right. I can't use that piece. Probably the shift to the left on this one. It caused an overflow on this guy. What was he at before? I missed, I forgot what he was at before. Um, let's try. So he was originally, he wasn't, oh, he wasn't 13. Okay. Well, I guess at this point it doesn't really matter. Yeah, it doesn't really matter. We gotta lose it anyway. Oh. Okay. There we go. I would like to take credit for thinking that all through and knowing exactly what would happen, but um, unfortunately I'm just not that uh, with it, and I didn't figure it out until the very end there, so. Whatever. We got it. That's all that matters. Uh, no, I'm not leaving here without that zebra. We gotta go get him. We gotta figure it out. Oh, hi. Oh, there's the green lantern. So there is a thing. Um, uh... What is this? Mana drain? Oh, well, we want to gain mana. Uh, there are multiple solutions. The easiest is to modify ESI to gain mana instead. Okay, so ESI, in this case, is the amount of mana to be drained. A constant with a value of uh, 1 is EDX. ECX is read-only copy of the target's mana. Right? Uh, and, I, I, you know, by the way, the description for this game, uh, for Squally, said it would um, work off of x86 and x64 registers, but we haven't seen any x64 registers. This is all the third bit. Um, come. All right. 
So compare mana to four. So ECX is the target's current mana. Compares it to the number four. If mana is greater than four, uh, load the drain amount of mana into ESI, and then there. Uh, the easiest is to modify ESI to gain mana instead, so we could invert this and instead drain a negative amount of mana, which would be, which would be positive mana. Um, but I'm not sure if we've... I, I can't recall if Squally has actually... Um, has actually um, shown us this in one of the previous uh, exercises. Um, but what we could do is um, get rid of the conditional move operation uh, and instead we could just uh, negate ESI and then we could just change C move to just move and if I am correct which hey, I am wrong literally all the time as you've seen in this series if you've been watching so far um, this, this ought to work Let's see if it is. No, I'm still losing mana. Hold on. Uh, okay. Since Meg is not working, then we could also do an or or a Zor. Um, yeah. Um, let's see. Now well, let's let's rewrite this a little bit. Uh, my current total mana pool is no greater than thirteen. So only if my mana, because I don't want to overflow my mana, which I don't even know if that's something that can be done in this function here. If my mana is less than 13, uh, then we can. Let's see, move less than or equal to. Oh. Well, okay, oops. Yes. This is this. Less than or equal to 13. Load the drain amount into ESI. Oh, wait, 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 wait. No. Uh, I, that, that was my problem. We actually want, we don't want to neg. ESI, why would we want to do that? Uh, we want to name EDX. There we go. That was just, uh, again, I make stupid mistakes literally all the time. I, yeah. I would say that I'm human, but uh, I, I just don't think that fast, and I just make mistakes. It happens. Uh, yeah, and uh, that was actually pretty good. Now this, do I have to? Oh, okay. And this does not go off. Okay. Well then, wait, that didn't continue on, did it? Over here. Okay, and now I feel like this is something we're going to encounter later on because we also saw that we have to swim like backwards through the thing, or at least go back through the thing. And this one needs to be on. Oh, that should be the blue one, right? Since you're going to give me some mana back, we might as well.
thinking about switching to the uh, wooden wand to get some extra mana. Okay, thank you very much. It is indeed the blue one. Okay. Now I gotta go back and get these gates open. Coming back for you, Zebra. You hang tight. Wow. And they're all open. Oh, except for this. Oh, wait. Put them all back up. Oh, but they are open. Oh, the, they're all lit now because the puzzle is solved. Oh, but I gotta, I gotta grab this. I forgot. Empowering charge. Select one of your cards and or it with another card. Let's, let's add that. Chop, 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 chop. Let's go get that zebra. I don't care about the Medusa anymore. This is all about the zebra. Okay, good thing there's no breath. Get, get up there. Squally, come on. Zebra! I run. Having cards, you know. Okay, sure. Now, what do we got here? Choose a card to steal from your opponent. Oh. Flip two, yes, that would be useful right now. And so would a flip three. Um, let's see. Flip three. Okay, so if we do a flip two and a flip three, then this would be one zero one one, which would be one plus three four. Uh, you know what? Uh, instead of trying to do some math. Oh, I don't. Yeah. Because I'm just going to make a mistake anyway. Zero, one, one would be 11. And uh, flip three and flip two, that would give me, I don't know, 15, that's 30, 41. And then I will need, would, would, would that be 41? Should be. Yeah. 30, 41. And then, I'm but I can't steal. Oh, I, but it steals it from me. Okay. There's all these cards that I've never seen before. It's really cool. And that guy's awesome. That's this guy. Doesn't have his name. Okay. Two. Three. Let's do this guy. Round tight. Oh, that wasn't good enough. Uh, okay, well. Uh, then that's okay, because then I'll just do this and this, and oh, it's still not going to be enough. Oh, this is. Oh, that's stupid. I'm just done. It's fine. Chop, 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 chop. Oh, it's confusing with the uh, multiple layers. Where exactly the squad is? And you give a moment right there. It's been fine so far, but it was a bit confusing. All right, Medusa. Yes, hiss to you too. First strike. Oh, Squally. Uh, this seems like it might be worth it. Nah. I'll get this attack off before she does. 
double check. Interrupt the journey. Um, tag, let's do a time of the solution. It's that like rain of arrows, then we really did that. If EX equals one, we take this damage caused by this. Chop, 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 chop. Tag, execute. Okay. Chop, chop. That, uh, I was kind of expecting more for the boss fight, to be honest. Um, I was expecting a new ability we haven't seen yet. Wow, the Guano is still accumulating XP while in stone form. This seems, um, I mean, I'm doing all the work right now. So. Okay, well then, that, that was kind of a disappointing bond with boss fight. I like the character design, but, uh, it was, it wasn't much of a challenge. So, okay. This game's been really fun so far. And uh, actually, I've been having so much fun with Squally that I've been looking on Steam for um, other games like this, if I could find one. And I, I did. I found Hack and Slash from 2014. And I think I'm going to run through that one next, or at least give it a try. And it, it sounds like it's up the same alley as Squally. Uh, but if that doesn't work, I was also looking at uh, Hack Me, at Grey Hack, and a couple of other ones. I think I might do a series of these just because. It's been fun. There we go. Oh no, I'm dead. All the stealing I've done, I was expecting to end up somewhere more fiery. Apparently, Christianity is a thing on this planet as well. Cure the townspeople, then speak to Hera. Oh, goodness. Maybe Squally's the alien. Maybe this is. Um, but maybe this is an Adventure Time situation, and, and Guano is actually a mutated human or something. Okay. Now do I just. Oh. It's an angel. Steal from me. That surely will get you into heaven when you die. I didn't get anything. <laughs> What's the point? <laughs> We're around a hexa, sure, you know? Okay, we'll lots of things here. We're gonna keep that. We're gonna keep that for sure. We'll keep this. Couple of moves. Uh, would be nice with our pebble. Um, ads are usually pretty useful. Let's get rid of our flip tube. Yep, that's what I was looking for. Something with some value. You can't do ads and moves uh, unless you have cards. So let's get the pebble out there and let's get uh, these guys out there. Okay. Then let's get her out here and then let's do a move. Let's see if we can value card out there. Oh, that's just, that's a five. I mean, it's high value to me. But, uh, let's do a this, and let's do a move to the game. Let's still, oh, she's got my cards <laughs> Okay, let's do an add on our pebble so we can keep it for the next round. Uh, should we do that again? No, we should. We should. That's, that's putting a that's putting a lot of eggs in the in the pebble basket, ain't it? Um, it's just asking for it to get opt or something. So let's do. I kind of want to though. Am I going to talk myself into doing something stupid? Yeah, I sure am. I sure am. Damn. He's got a lot of high value cards. I'm, I might have to go back to, to not paying attention so I can win this one again. Uh, flip one. Let's get rid of the flip one. Oh, that's. Okay. I kept it. Okay. Numbers alone will overwhelm them. Right? Hey. All right. And I get to keep my pebble, so I guess that was, that was a good spend for the first round. 
think I'm going to keep the flip to or the flip one. There we go. I mean, that's not ideal. That wasn't the card I really wanted. But, uh... I'm going to flip this out here. Play my flip two. Be shot the pebble. And I'm running out of options here. This is my last play. He's got one card. He could win. He does something crazy. Ah, uh, like that. Uh, that's too bad. That's you know, I that's the first two draws. I haven't gotten any draws. Except for this this part eight here. I finally get two draws in the same session. So. Uh, shift right, yes. Two of these. Keep that for sure. And let's do this. And I kind of feel like at this level, flip ones really aren't that great. Um, but I may be able to pair it with a shift right. Now let's let's not see. Yeah, let's do that. This could be good. Alright, we'll play these guys, and we'll play... Should I do a shift left right away? Um... And... I feel like they get exponentially like it's uh well let's see, move which is I'm gonna I'm gonna play it. Yeah, I'm gonna play it. And then I'll throw this up as well. Thank you. Thank you kindly. Two demon haunches on that play. Ooh, we finally got our ore card, the one we just got. Uh, yes. Okay, now uh, with the ore card, what we want to do is we want cards uh, that in binary will line up with zeros and ones. Um, but we don't have a good hand for that, because all of these are worth three, so they're all zero, zero, one, one. Um, could, because I have my cards, select one of your cards and or it, okay, so I can, I have to pick one of my cards, I can or it with one of theirs, so that might still be useful this turn. Let's do this guy and what I believe to be the Jacob. Alright, so he's got a four now, alright, so I can... Or this with uh, well, maybe I should just keep it as a maybe I should do a shift right before I get to mm. So many possibilities. I gotta think about this for a sec. Mm. Um, I wish I had a better. Uh, did we finally get the ore, and I don't really have a hand that I can use it on. Um, because it's not a zor; it's an ore. So the only thing I could really use it to do is beef up one of these cards. Um, I could do. Right, if I do a shift right. Then this will become two. So that's down two. This will become a one. So that's down. So that'll lose four there. And if I do this one, it'll just lose two. So let's oops, let's do that. And play this guy. I don't think we can win this hand. I don't think I have. I don't think I have the right cards for it. 
Let's I can and I can't I can't choose his cards with the moves. Maybe I should just I don't think yeah, I can't win. There's no way I can win. Let's just do it. Maybe I'll get some good cards for the for the next round. Well, that's better. I could use the ore on these. Um, if I ore this, I have two moves and I have three cards. So I like this a little better. I just want to throw my crab out and I want to throw my dude out. And then next turn, I will ore the crab and then move the value. So, or, and then move, and then next turn I'll play the Gnip, and then I will do another move. Oh, but that's still not going to be enough with this guy. Look at this guy. I'll have 21. That's the highest I can get. He's got three cards left. There's just no way this is happening. Yeah, damn. Let's do it again. I do not need two carrots. It's a lot of off cards. I think I have too many off cards. Is that a possibility? Is that a thing? Uh, yeah, I don't need three moves. And I probably, yes, I'm going to actually leave that because I got the carrot. So at least I'll be able to do that with, uh, against his cards. I go first, okay, and then I'll play the carrot. Oh, and the pebble. Alright, so I got the king, I got the crab, I got the boar. So let's throw out the crab and the uh, Jacob, the king. And I'm, I'm already thinking about the next round. I don't think I'm going to get this first round. He's got too many high-value cards. I'm hoping he'll burn through some high-value cards. All right, let's score this, and then let's move it to the pebble. Actually, that's kind of a bad... I don't know. I want to keep the pebble at high value. It's just they're putting a lot of eggs in the uh, binary roll basket. Uh, which, by the way, when I was looking around in Ghidra, I did find the code for Hexus. I was poking around in it and uh, found that... Uh, locating the variables for the scores in Cheat Engine is kind of a chore because of the way that it's implemented. It actually concatenates several values here, um, basically the value of each of these. And I haven't I haven't looked into it any further, but uh, it seems like that may be necessary. So anyway, let's move that there. All right, I'm thinking about shifting right to this. Which looks like it would be, yeah, I mean, he's got so many cards in a row here, it would be stupid not to, right? So let's do that. And, uh, should we play... Should we play the move? Uh, and reduce him even further? Let's do that. Let's do this here. Damn. Look at that. You burned up all your cards, dude. Uh, yeah, I'll claim victory. I mean, I wish I had more cards myself, but I'm going into this starting with a pretty decently sized pebble. And ooh, we got it, uh, an add. Uh, I'm going to lose this. We don't need that. And I guess we'll keep the flip ones then because they're longer and they're more useful. We've got a carrot again. Let's play with a carrot. Um, we have. Let's see. I could beef up my pebble even more here if I have four to it. Uh, let's play these, though. Whatever those things are, I can remember. Opponent passed. Oh, look at that! I win! Uh, I kind of won't do it anyway. <laughs> Insult to injury. Look at that. Oh, I can keep playing. Let's keep playing and then beating him down. Uh, that's, that's fine. We wasted all time. Okay.
that's it for part eight. Next time, uh, we will go speak to Hera to cure the townspeople. All right, see you then.